Spain's Women's World Cup build-up has been anything but smooth. Last year, 18 players sent identical emails to the Spanish Football Federation expressing their concerns about the national team setup. They complained about a lack of professionalism, poor preparation, and restrictive rules imposed on them. The players wanted changes, including the resignation of head coach Jorge Vilda. However, only six of the 18 players have made it into Spain's final World Cup squad. The issues raised by the players go beyond the pitch and have deep-rooted causes. The success of the team in the tournament will depend on how well these issues have been resolved. The players' complaints centered around structural changes they believed were necessary to unlock the full potential of Spain's talented generation. They wanted better preparation, improved travel arrangements, and more freedom during training camps. They also criticized the behavior of certain coaches and the lack of professionalism from the technical staff and the Spanish Football Federation. After the emails were sent, there was a total split between the players and the federation. The federation publicly supported Vilda and stated that the players would need to send another email stating their availability if they wanted to return to the national team. The situation seemed dire, but the players' union, FUPRO, stepped in to mediate. It took several months of discussions and compromises for some players to decide to make themselves available for selection again. The players were assured that improvements would be made, including better technical staff, less bus travel, and more flights and chartered planes. The federation also promised better planning and scheduling for the team. However, not all players were convinced. Some preferred to stay away despite the potential for individual awards, lucrative commercial deals, and the opportunity to play in the World Cup. They felt that the changes made were not enough to address their concerns. Eventually, eight of the 15 players who initially protested decided to return to the national team. The atmosphere within the team was tense at first, with unresolved disagreements and players not speaking to each other. But as time went on, the players started to prioritize the common good and ensure that their past issues did not affect their chances of success. Now, as the World Cup begins, there is an uneasy truce within the team. The players have put aside their differences and are focused on performing well in the tournament. Only time will tell if this peace will hold throughout the competition. The success of Spain's Women's World Cup campaign will not only be measured by their performance on the pitch, but also by how well the issues raised by the players have been addressed. The team has the talent to go far in the tournament, but their unity and harmony will be crucial factors in their success.